Hello and welcome again to An Evening of Legends, presented by Carlings. It's hard to believe this is our ninth Legends night. We are at the three-quarters way stage. We are at Shamrock Park, home of Portadown, and tonight we have three legends from a, a glorious time in the 90s when they were winning league titles and Irish Cups. We have Brian Strain, we have Philip Major, and we have Mickey Keenan. Another legend is still working here. He's the manager, Ronnie McFall. You'll enjoy this. Special. What was so special about Portadown Football Club that made each one of you give so much of your time to make you one of the legends of the club? No, oh, I was here 14 years and had, had 14 fabulous years. Got a bit rusty towards the end, uh, but you know, uh, the other thing is is that we did have, you know, we did have a big nucleus of players. You know, we had guys, guys like Philip and Mickey and Craig Davison, uh, you know, guys who work, club guys through and through. Uh, and they were equally there, uh, you know, for what, 10, 14, 15 years, you name it. Uh, so it's very, very hard to walk away from that. And, you know, where do you walk to uh, at the end of the day? Because, you know, Portadown were up there with, you know, we were competing with Glentorn and, and Linfield, um, you know, week in, week out. So uh, I had no great ambition, uh, you know, to move. And obviously I'd been at Glentorn, so I knew what, uh, I knew what they were about. And uh, I was very happy to, to come up here. To be honest, when I first came, I didn't envisage he's been here for 14 years. So, uh, and I'm, I'm not a local, as you well know. So, uh, tracking up the motorway, it had to be enjoyable, uh, to be honest, to, to stay for 14 years. The thing about Portadown was I loved, I loved being underdogs, and I loved. Big Ronnie used to give it the old city slickers talk every time when we were having a team tour <laughs> up at the Blues and the Glens. And I loved that. I just loved that. Because I wanted to run all over the top of those city slickers, right? Because from the day I signed for Port Down and get into the team, it was only, there was only one club. And now it's exactly the same. There's no way. You know, I couldn't go to watch a match. I don't feel I could feel as comfortable watching a match at Windsor or the Oval. Just, it just wouldn't feel right. Mickey, you were just back from Dunkirk when you... <laughs> No, you signed in 1981. Who, who was the manager then? Uh, Jackie Hutton and Jackie, Jackie Patterson. Hutton. And where did you come from at that time? Newry. Newry. Uh, did you feel that? Well, Newry were in the B Division then. B Division. Yeah. That's, uh, there, was, there was no promotion, so we couldn't get in. That was a step up for you. Just. Yeah. At that time, just. Yeah, just. And when the big man arrived there, Ronald. Ronald, all right. Uh, <laughs> things were at a low ebb. Uh, <laughs> Did you see the thing taking off the way it did? You always hope. Well, you can never predict it. You don't know. I remember the first match was at Crusaders, and they let one through my legs. So I remember that was a bad start. Yeah, and we were at the one that day. We won two one. That's right. Yeah. But what a memory, eh? <laughs> first match. And I was the only one I was at fault for in 22 years. He's not very. <laughs> The fact he's, ne he's never forgotten them. <laughs> he's never uh, forgiven you either. No, you, you never expected because I say I was there maybe six years, seven years, and we were a midland to bottom team. So, and, and Linfield at the time were massive, you know, in Glentorn. You never, you never expected to break into them. So, you never thought that, but you played away, and then gradually, to me, that was the best period. Those three years up until we won the league, because we were progressing. And there was, uh, as you say, every, every match, there was 11, 12 players in the back bar. Everyone was there, they were all locals. The crack was mighty, the crowd was great. And the question was, you know, what kept you here? And that's, that's part of it, the way they treated my dad. From the day he came, walked in here, I was welcome, the whole family was welcome. Uh, and as I say, we weren't winning things, so it wasn't the trophies keeping me here then. Okay, Ronnie, uh, biggest achievement, first league championship win, 1990, the double or promotion last year? 
<coughs> well, uh, well the, uh, my, my first objective, Jackie, was to win a major trophy because as I said, been a poor down lad and having supported the team all my life. Uh, they'd never won a major trophy and they'd got so far and, and I'd, I'd stood in the terraces and went to a cup final when Linfield beat them four or five at the Oval and whatever. So my first objective was to win a major trophy. So when I went in the league for the, uh, for the first time would obviously be the, would be the major one. Last year, as I said, was a different scenario because basically the whole, the whole future and structure of the club was on the line because of we found, where we found ourselves. So from, as a guards, uh, <coughs> the well-being of the club, that was vital. As the oldest player ever to play in Europe, was it ever officially marked by anybody, by anybody in Europe or by the club? Uh, I don't think so. I can't remember, to be quite honest. I, I, I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing about it is, whenever I was told that, uh, you know, they said it's a great honour, and I said, well, that's like winning the ugliest player in the league competition. <laughs> <laughs> you know, who wants it? Phil, about that one, so on. Just goes into pub quizzes. Uh, but apparently, somebody else has beat us uh, last season. I think it's gone. Here's a question. Is Mickey Keenan the best Irish league keeper ever? Yes. That comes from M. Keenan. <laughs> Ronnie, when you took over, when was it, 86? <laughs> December with December. Yeah, something like that, 86. And the club were low in the league. Uh, obviously, there was only one way, and that was up. Could you foresee yourself in four years' time winning the league championship? <coughs> well, that, that was always a, that was always my ambition, Jackie. Because being a poor down boy, there was uh, they'd never won a major trophy before, and I'd been standing there at Shamrock Park when Albert Mitchell missed a penalty kick against Glentorn, and uh, <coughs> that was the objective. Uh, so when I took over, we were bottom of the league. I remember the first ten session, Dennis Gay was with me. And with only six players staying down at uh, Chambers Park. And I said to Dan, I said, what have I let myself in for here? And uh, slowly but surely we worked at it. And what we'd done was, <clears throat> when I left Lentorn, everybody thought I would have I went back for the Clearies and, you know, the yeah. big sort of stars at that time, but I didn't. Uh, I went back into the reserve team. I'm saying to Alexis Stainer Major, uh, Davey Mills and those sort of guys. Uh, they gave us a bit of a to give us a backbone and to give us an impetus. Clive, you have asked Philip, was that a gin and tonic you were drinking the night before the Irish Cup final in 2002? <laughs> <laughs> that obviously is... You asked that question, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness for that. I've never understood the humour here, Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> it's very droll, isn't it? Very droll. Mickey, Brian, Philip, apart from winning the league in the double, what are your favourite memories with the ports? Philip, start with you. I have very strange memories of the ports. Oh, I hope they're I've... short. <laughs> <laughs> My best memories are of the people that I met down oh. here. You know, people like Walter Mack. All right, Walter, how are you? <laughs> A true legend of Port Around Football Club. Oh, okay. Jordy Richardson, true legends of Port Iron Football Club. You know, well, you can't take away, you can't take away from the day out there that you won the league, to be honest. Uh, and obviously the double, um, very, very hard. They're, always, you know, they're great memories. Um, every time you lift a trophy is a great memory. Um, yeah, you know, the open top bus ride, I remember coming through the time, unbelievable. Uh, you know, uh, that was a little long living in the memory, coming from the, from the Seagull Hotel. Gee, it was... Uh, Balls of buck fast and fired up to you, it was good. Yeah. <laughs> so obviously a few of the boys will remember that as well. The old Lurgan champagne, uh, eh? <laughs>